You probably all know the world famous companies Nike and Apple. Both companies have opened their branches in many countries of the world and gained millions of customers. The Nike and Apple companies came together in 2016 and presented their jointly produced product, Apple Watch Nike Plus watches, to customers. The unique thing about these watches was that they combined the features of the Nike sports brand and Apple smartwatches. The main goal in producing these watches was to create an opportunity for athletes and generally anyone who wants to live a healthy lifestyle. So, through smartwatches, people receive a timely notification to drink enough water, run, and exercise. In short, these smartwatches prepare a healthy life routine for people and play the role of a kind of guide on this path. And thus, as a result of the collaboration between Nike and Apple, Customers were given an effective device for a healthy lifestyle. In this example, the marketing strategy used to create an intercompany partnership is called co branding. Now, the question arises what exactly is the co branding marketing strategy? What are the reasons why world famous brands choose this strategy? Let's look at the answers to these questions together. Co branding is a marketing method that has become widespread all over the world in recent years, especially after 2010. This strategy is also known as strategic business partnership. Thus, the main goal of the co branding business tactic is that two or more companies come together and create a partnership. As a result, those companies appear in front of the audience either with a product they jointly produce. Or with a new campaign they create together. As an example, let's look at a partnership between two companies. In 2012, a cooperative agreement was signed between the famous Taco Bell fast food company and the Doritos chips company. The product developed under that agreement combined the delicious flavors of Doritos and Taco Bell products. Thus, this product created as a result of the co branding strategy sold more than one billion in one year. I would add that as a result of the co branding strategy, both companies not only got a lot of income from the joint product, but also managed to increase their profits separately. Today, there are two main types of co branding strategy. The first of these is ingredient co branding, and the second is called composite co branding. One of the companies that created a partnership in the strategy of ingredient co branding is well known. But the other one is relatively less well known. That is, the main purpose of the partnership here is to promote the second, less well known company and advertise its products to buyers. For example, let's look at the partnership between the famous and well funded computer company Dell and the technology company Intel. While the computer company Dell is world famous, The technology company Intel is considered a relatively little known and emerging business example. The main goal of the partnership between Intel and Dell is to introduce Intel services and products to a wider audience and to create a reliable image for Intel among buyers. As a result of its partnership with Dell, the little known and unpopular Intel company increased its sales several times and gained the trust of customers. As for the second type of co branding, That is, composite co branding, unlike the first type, both companies that create a partnership here are equally popular. In other words, the main goal here is to increase the product sales of both companies at the same level. For example, the partnership between the well known taxi company Uber and the popular music application Spotify can be seen as an example of composite co branding. According to this partnership, you can access the Spotify application. And listen to songs you want for free while using Uber taxis. Especially for people who like to listen to music while traveling, this opportunity is considered unavoidable. Thus, as a result of this cooperation, the equally popular companies Spotify and Uber managed to significantly increase the number of their customers. In addition, I'd like to bring to your attention one point. As you can see, although co branding is a marketing strategy, This method is also used by many international companies to promote newly created companies. Take as an example the partnership between UNICEF, the United Nations Care for the World's Children's Center, and Target, a well known company in the United States. 
Target has donated $6.5 million over three years to UNICEF's Children's Power Campaign. As a result, this charitable campaign developed and reached more people by creating awareness, and the company Target became famous and gained more fame around the world. As you can see, many famous companies today are successfully using co-branding marketing tactics. This marketing strategy not only increases the profits of the partner companies, but also increases the trust in those companies among customers. Also, as a result of this partnership, the advertisements created by both companies together reach a larger audience. This further increases the benefits of the co-branding tactic. Finally, I'd like to ask you, what are some examples of effective co-branding that you've come across? Don't forget to share your thoughts with us in the comment section of the video. Thanks for watching.